Saint Laurent frame, shade the pain in my eyes. Still connected to the guys, blowing blunts to the sky. Go shoot when they up, tapping in, they in the bind. More money, more problems, money steady on my mind. Um, all right, now I want to ask, it's Don. Where do you see yourself in three to five years? In any arena? Uh, really just doing my thing, probably touring somewhere. Or okay. Hopefully by that time I have like an understudy because I want to eventually like shade off. Shade like, off, explain what just that means. Just take all my knowledge and everything that I've learned in my course of doing this and pass it to somebody, you know, younger than me and keep it going. In terms of like a protege, like artist? Yeah, like an artist. Uh, Maybe a couple, but for sure, like one solid artist that I could just pour into. Okay. I mean, I could do other endeavors. So you're are, are you interested in having your own like production company or record label one day? I have a record label actually. Really? Yeah. Fit so, it, fit it music. Fit it music, y'all. So how is that going? Do you have like artists on it, or is it right now? Just I got a few artists. And, and it's nothing. Um, uh, we haven't really, you know, of course, popped to that level to where I could really. Do what I want and, and promote okay. and put money into them like that. But like I said earlier, I got a solid team of people around me, and okay. a lot of people are talented that's around me. So okay, you want to drop any names of your artists or not yet? Not yet. Okay, you know what? And this is why I do these interviews. I do these interviews number one because I think there's so many artists with amazing music that people need to hear. Like number one, like life changing music that you won't hear a lot of the times because it's not on mainstream radio mm -hmm. but it's powerful and a lot of people who watch my channel who will one day some upon us will get to know him and be like yo that man changed my life and not only that it's like a lot of the times you got projects going on that just by you talking about it on my platform now it, you might find your next artist like right. oh my god I like his style I think it would be a place a great place for me to see if I fit in so I think that having an artist community, not just saying, oh, I got to get signed to that label or else that's all I can do. That's the only way success is for me. Right. Sometimes just artists going to showcases like we did. Right, it right. wasn't paid or anything like right. that. Like, and now we connect them because we're doing the same thing. And it's like, help help me help you. Right. And it's like I, like, I fucks with him. It's like, yo, his music is good. And I think Appreciate that it. a lot of people would feel the same way. Appreciate it. You know? Well, that's what you too. Thank you. She a beast too. Right? I don't, mean, don't let her fool you. She, 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 she I like can that. only do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want to ask you, Don, like, uh, what, what, do you, what do you feel like success looks like to you? What would you say success is, like, for you? Um, freedom, happiness, and family. I mean... I don't even have anything to say after that. Like those are my thing is um, happiness, healthiness, and wealth. Like and whatever wealth is to you, it could be family, it could be money, it could be whatever it is. But I think it's very simple. It's very simple, and it's not as complex. It's like what does it look like? And I'm happy that you have an, a very clear idea. And whether you would have said I want to be a billionaire, but well, there's no rules to this shit. Uh. But it sounds like to me that you have and even your demeanor and your energy it sounds like you got people in your corner it sounds like you have a plan of action and it sounds like you're smart enough to understand that you have to take certain steps in order to build it the certain way you want like you're not like i don't know i just feel like you have a demeanor of somebody who who knows what they need to get where they want to go and i've made the mistake several times you know what i'm saying of thinking i could do it by myself a lot of not understanding that spending your own money sometimes is detrimental you know mm -hmm. but like you seem like somebody who's not in a rush to get to where you're going and you know like all right i'm building it i got my label i ain't gonna say too much right. but you know i gotta sell it so it, it seems like yeah we definitely need to <laughs> you we teach here. me some things we're here we're here all right i got a few more questions okay all right. now i want to know what or who motivates you the most my son Really? Yeah. How old is he? Six. Wow. Yeah. Can you share a little about what 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 is it about him that makes you feel like? Uh, is it a smile when he looks at you in the morning? When <laughs> man, just everything like that's a that's a second chance. Not as far as a second chance to where I'm like projecting my failures or wants on him, but it's just like. It's like looking at an innocent 
version of yourself again. So you want to do everything possible to protect and navigate Absolutely. him in the right way. So it's like I have to uphold myself to a certain standard because okay. I got this coming behind me. You know. And do you do you what? How do you feel you're doing so far? I'm cool. I mean, I'm not perfect, you know, but I'm still learning, and every day I'm learning something. So, but uh, every day my prayer is just to be better for him. Okay. So that's that's, that's what keeps me going. That's a hell of a motivator. Like I don't have any kids myself, and I never wanted any because <laughs> I'm still one myself. Yeah. But I definitely I understand the way I looked at my mom, the way I looked at my dad, the expectations, and knowing that you said that. I know that you try, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and, and that's what's up. So I, yeah. I pray that that um, that that actually that your relationship continues to grow stronger, Appreciate and that, that you um, you make him proud and he makes you proud. That's, that's what's right. up. See? Do you have any? Have you? Do you? Is he in any of your music? Like, do you have a song? Yeah, that he actually. Um, I always come out to my song "Pressure." It's his favorite song, really? so I always be like, I know I got to play it. Cause he know it word is for it word. on Spotify? Is it on? It's on all, pl uh, all platforms. What's yeah. it called? Pressure. Pressure. It's down pressure. I'm gonna link it. I'll, I'll probably use that as your intro song just because. Yeah, so to make use you it. Happy. Use it. And he uh, he actually is on that. He's my tag. I got a tag with his voice. So what's his name? Dawson. Dawson. Yeah. Hey Dawson. Yeah. So uh -huh. he's uh he's on my tag. He on that song, and I always start my shows out. I don't care if it's. 30 years from now and okay. that's his favorite song and that's what I do it for so that's what I come out to every time okay now I want to ask you what do you think about what do you think about the music scene today do you think it's going in a good direction do you have do you just feel like you know what freedom let it go where it's gonna go or what do you do you have any thoughts about it compared to what it used to be uh, I'm happy where it's going because it's going you know we need music to okay. thrive and do everything pretty much I do so I, agree. Uh, I do wish it would get back to the sprinkle a little more creativity on it. Okay. When you, when you say create, when you say creativity, what do you mean by that? Okay. So just say um, the nineties or whatever. You might have a Dre beat, and it might be uh, my life, my life, my life, my life. So you, you but you might have to think like, dang, are you a hear a piece of like I know where this from, but like. Where it's from, and compared to now, they use the same cadence, the same Understood. hook, the same okay. words. It's like man, hide the sample a little bit. I wasn't know? sure where you what, what you meant by that when you said creativity, because I wasn't sure if you meant like um, be completely different from every from what we've heard before, or if you were trying to refer back to how people. Yeah, you would have Nas rapping over a straight. I mean, sometimes I used to be like, how the hell is he rapping over a straight? Um, jazz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so usually, like that, don't even see. But back then, it was just like, there, and I guess it was because there wasn't. It was like new, so yeah. it was like easier for us to be like, okay, you know, with Lauren Hill and them and the collaborations and the Yoro Lani, like right, right. and the samples. You're like, damn, is that a sample? Or even with um, the R&B world, I didn't even know that um, uh, Love Train was a um, was a remake. Um, they didn't. Sometimes hard strings can be broken. You just yeah, yeah. Got, that was a and it, I didn't even hear that until years later when I heard a, the old function. Right function. Yeah. I was like, wait, 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 what? See, that's that's remember I told you earlier. That's my era yeah, shit, you know right that right? Yeah, yeah. But I when I heard Drew Hill do that, I was like, oh, this is so. Yeah. Cool. But it was a remake. Yeah. So I completely get what you're saying. I me personally, when I listen to the music today, I find myself saying. Yeah, everything kind of a lot of stuff sounds alike, and a lot of people more so I find are so gimmicky, mm -hmm. are so focused on, and then everything is cities in the ass. I mean, everything yeah. is just like, yeah. all right, shine here, flash here, hits a hit, and you just be like, can you make me think though? Like, can I just for a second just wonder? And I think more so about the lyrics when I say that versus the actual beat, because now everybody got a beat, you know, that's that's hard hitting mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily saying anything outside of give me the money it's like when i was coming up like everybody was like in my era ad libs ad libs like young jeezy made the ad libs yeah. like but i started like falling back off ad libs because i don't want you to too much be distracted by everything else like, look saying. over here over i here. want you to hear what i'm talking okay. about then so now i'm a big ad lib girl myself yeah then but just because i think i was trying so hard to um 
I think I wanted, I was overdoing it. Even mm-hmm. when I would perform, sometimes I'm just like, oh, like, what the, calm down, take a breath. <laughs> and I had to do that to myself, watching old videos. Like, girl, if I was in the audience, I'd be like, this bitch is doing way too much. Yeah, yeah. Or I would sing a Sade song live. And I'm not, I'm, I'm just being real as somebody who has, as you are, you know, we evolve <laughs> and we look at the past performances. For and sure. I remember being in the audience. And I, re- excuse me, I remember being on stage and I was looking at this guy in the audience. And I remember him looking at his girlfriend every time I did an ad lib. <laughs> and I felt like I remember the moment where he was like, if she does another fucking ad, I'm leaving. And I was doing an ad lib. I was doing these fucking ad libs in Sade's Sweetest Taboo. So let me tell you, I'm like this. Diamond life, love boy. He moves in space with... Now she's very smooth. Uh-huh. She ain't all that shit. Sade is very smooth. <laughs> But I couldn't still, I could not stop myself from when sentiment is left to chance. And I'm like, why can't I stop? And I remember every time I did it, he was like, (laughs) and then I remember the moment he got the hell up and she was right behind me. And I was like, okay, man, you could have done better. So I'm learning yeah, yeah, yeah. that everything, like, just let it breathe. Let them listen to the bass line here. Let them fucking just calm down. What are you doing? So I, Completely, <laughs> I, I get well, we that. Learn we, 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 we learn and we grow. And we evolve and it's all right. Yeah. See, see, see you're like a guru. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Don the Guru, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. All right. So I have uh, just two more questions. Um, one is, what advice would you give to, or do you have for artists that are looking to actually break into this business of music? Mm. No, if it's for you. Think if you would do it for free, off the love, like you said, you know, it's going to be a lot of grind, a lot of investments. Hopefully you are that person that can drop one song and everybody know you, you know, you go to the top. But I still feel for me, the gratification was going through the mud. Learning this, learning that, showing up to this sound check, the promoter an hour later, this and that and do it, just all that, you know. So my advice would be stay the course, man, like. Just keep pushing, go through the mud. Don't be too big of an ego to where you can't learn. You know, always learn something. It's always something to learn. Even in a bad situation, it's something yeah. to learn. So stay the course is my my advice. Stay the course, y'all. Stay the course. Now, of course, I have to take the opportunity to ask you if you have any lyrics or rhymes that you want to share with the audience just so they get a, a little taste of what it's done is really like as a writer and performer. Yeah, I'll just pick the first one that come to my head. Alright. Uh, I don't trust shit, but goddamn my son. Matter of fact, I do get myself in my gun. Design it down with a fresh pair of white ones. Blowing no crud, I ain't tripping off no crumbs. All my niggas up, I can't be around no bums. Little bad when I wanna have fun. I was that nigga way back in 01. I'm a black youngster, please don't make me shake some. On bro bro, every time I pop out, I be ready for a photo. Ah, that's it. <laughs> that's all y'all get. <laughs> that's all. All right. It's done. I want to say thank you for taking time out to just like, first of all, share your time with my audience and actually share your time with me. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a hot ass L.A. day. Man. And he drove all the way the hell down here to Korea Town. <laughs> and it is my, I, I am very grateful as you allow me to get to know you more and as you share yourself with my platform. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be posting Don's socials. It's Don's socials so that you can connect with him, reach out, and, you know, become a fan of a fan of a fan. All right? Yes, sir. So until next time, thank you guys for tuning in to another Musicians on Gigs artist interview, and we will check you later. Peace. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>